thank you for your service and for all you do. Um, governing board member Estinos uh, at one of our uh, prior meetings uh, pointed out that uh, we had lost, uh, as we knew, but she being uh, the having the tremendous history in the Everglades uh, restoration and uh, uh, you know, trying to put all the pieces back together, uh, pointed out to us that uh, Johnny Jones, uh, who was one of the beacons in uh, these efforts, uh, passed away. And we wanted to take a minute to recognize uh, Mr. Jones. Uh, I know we've got a number of his uh, past colleagues and family members, uh, friends, and partners uh, with us today and we want to thank you for coming to uh, share this special time uh, and amongst that group we have Senator Phil Lewis who uh, is with us and who uh, as Dean of the Senate and and a principal author of our chapter 373 uh, and Senator we'd love to have you hang around and do some interpretation for us as we <laughs> make some of our decisions <laughs> You're a valuable, re continue to be a valuable resource. Uh, so we want to welcome you. And Carol, you And I believe a the senator is probably going to be the first to okay. pay tribute to Mr. Jones. And we're going to use a portable mic for the senator. And, and this is really Mrs. Estinoza's right. so after program. To well, if Shannon would like to say a few introductory words, and then we'll have the senator be our first speaker. I think we no? will let the senator be the okay. first speaker. Uh, well, I never thought I'd be here today, but uh, Johnny Jones was the most hard-headed uh, person when he was driving home a point for the Everglades or for anything for the environment. A lot of the laws that are on the books today, Johnny put them on there. He wouldn't take no for an answer. And he loved the Everglades and the environment like nobody else that I know of. Uh, it is a privilege to be here, and I wish I could say more. But it's he's a, a gem in Florida's history, and he will go down in Florida's history as a real uh, tough person when it came to dealing with the Everglades or any other play having to do with uh, the environment. Johnny was always right in his mind. <laughs> and uh, so he, <laughs> uh, but I grew to be very fond of him over the years, and uh, I was sad to see him pass away. He was, a, he was truly a, a gem for the environment. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator. For those words and um, Mr. Chairman I want to thank you and the board for graciously uh, giving me the mic during these very special few moments in our governing board agenda today. Uh, I, on behalf of the South Florida Water Management District let me just straight out welcome the friends and family of Johnny Jones and he had a lot of friends and he had a lot of family and so many of them are with us today. I want to recognize specifically of course his beautiful wife Mariana who is here with us, his wife of 61 years. Um, you know I read that. <laughs> I read that Mariana had to check with you to make sure it wasn't a typo. <laughs> 61 years is remarkable. But we're also joined by Johnny's sister, Linda, his uh, brother, David, his sister, Kay, his brothers-in-law, Bruce and Sal. We're wel welcome. We're, we're happy to have you here. We've got his grandchildren here. We have great-grandchildren here. We have nieces and nephews. It's just lovely. Um, actually, yeah, could we have everyone who is related to John C. Jones please stand up? <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, Marcus, in fact, very good. Thank you. 
Trump's most important legacy, perhaps. Um, I also want to say that he's got some wonderful friends in the audience, too. I saw that Manley Fuller had driven all the way down, obviously. Uh, Senator is here, and I wanted to recognize, I hope he's listening, and to let the family know that Wayne Nelson uh, called and told me that he could not come down. He was un It's really just too far for him to come, and his health didn't allow him to come. But he did drive, apparently, I think, to the service center and is watching on the web. So he sends his regards and his affection for, for you and his remembrances of Johnny. Um, you know, today we're welcoming Johnny because he was our friend, um, but be also because he was one of the best friends the state of Florida has ever had. We lost Johnny in July of this year. Our loss is uh, heaven's gain, but uh, his legacy uh, will be forever carved in the wild places of this state, the state that, that we love so much and that the people in, on this campus and that work for this agency are so dedicated to protecting. He leaves us a legacy, I will say to our, my fellow board members, um, that the folks that sit in these chairs, whether it's us or those that come after us, we have a level of stewardship responsibility over Johnny's legacy. He fought very hard, tenaciously, as Senator Lewis reminds us, um, to win uh, great gains for the state and the people of Florida. And uh, there are those of us who have the honor and privilege of serving as decision makers in the state. I think we owe Johnny not only a debt of gratitude, but a debt of responsibility as well. Jones may be a common name, but as all who knew him, and for those of you who didn't, Johnny Jones was an uncommon man. He was a, an outdoorsman, an avid hunter and fisherman, of course. He, he knew the places that we talk about, the places that we talk about every month to my fellow board members, places like the Kissimmee, places like Big Cypress and the Everglades. Johnny knew those places intimately, and he loved them deeply. And uh, he did not like what the explosive growth in Florida was doing to its woods and its water and its wildlife. For five decades, he was a tireless champion. Five decades. You know, he didn't just sit back and be complacent. Johnny Jones was a man of action, and he acted not once or twice, but consistently for five decades. He brought a tireless passion to do what was right, and he helped put a million acres into public ownership. Acres that, frankly, it's sad to say, most generate, we already take for granted. Uh, most of us can't imagine the state of Florida without the Big Cypress National Preserve. Most of us can't imagine that. Most of us can't imagine subdivisions there. Um, thanks to Johnny and his colleagues, um, we have the Big Cypress National Preserve as a, as a treasure that so many of us enjoy regularly with our families, our children, our grandchildren. In the late 1960s, Johnny left his trade as a, a master plumber to lead the Florida Wildlife Federation. And in 1971, he became its executive director. And he did it with, with no formal training or any of the sort of highfalutin, you know, co advanced college degrees that these kinds of jobs tend to require these days. For 15 years, his work his tenacious lobbying efforts in Tallahassee helped push for the passage of some 76 environmental bills, 76. These bills worked and continue to work. We live with their legacy today to improve and preserve the natural Florida that Johnny saw disappearing so rapidly. The legislation, um, some of this legislation, for example, uh, created the Conservation and Recreation Lands Program that we know as CARL. I mean, you know, there, for the, us whippersnappers who have only been doing this for about 10 or 15 years, hasn't Carl just always been there? <laughs> um, well, no, it hasn't. It took, it took a lot of uh, struggle to institute programs like Carl. Save Our Rivers. We have Johnny to thank for Save Our Rivers. And other forerunners to the Florida Forever program, of course, which is something that, that this board has come to depend to depend on um, to get the work of the people done, particularly when it comes to Everglades restoration. Senator Bob Graham, who was a friend of Johnny's, said, and this is a quote, Johnny Jones came along at a period when everything in Florida was up for sale. And he believed that Florida was not a commodity to be consumed. Through the 60s, 70s, and 80s, he convinced a lot of people that Florida was a thing of value. Plans to save the Everglades uh, that were in trouble began actually in Johnny Jones's backyard. In the early 1980s, he met with fellow advocates Marjorie Stoneman Douglas and Art Marshall, names legendary now in our world. <clears throat> they drew up a plan. Johnny took it to his friend, then Governor Graham, 
and persuaded the governor to launch the Save Our Everglades program. Uh, I had the privilege of chairing the Everglades Coalition in 2003. Mariana, um, if you'll remember, we, we instituted a Hall of Fame to recognize those people who really have contributed life, their, their entire sort of a, a life's work. And the inaugural inductees into that Hall of Fame, I mean, you would, you would expect Marjorie uh, Stoneman Douglas, but they were Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, Art Marshall, and Johnny Jones together. And it was a unanimous sentiment among coalition members that those three needed to be honored equally and together. And I think that says a lot about, about the role that Johnny has played in the Everglades. Now, we've heard he's tenacious. Um, he was tenacious and dedicated and hard-headed and always right, but he was also charming, and he had a gift for charming people, I understand, particularly politicians and reporters. And uh, his charisma and unflappable determination won big things for the state, won the Big Cypress National Preserve, the Rotenberger Wildlife Management Area, the Kissimmee River floodplains, and so many other special places. If there is a place in Florida that you love, that your children love, that you celebrate birthdays at, there is a good chance that you have Johnny Jones to thank, at least in part, that, that it is there for you and your children to enjoy. And ACT is what Johnny Jones did, and it is, so it is, it is not surprising that he authored and co-authored or spearheaded so many legislative acts during his career, including things like the State of Florida's Kissimmee River Restoration Act, the Lake Okeechobee Restoration Act, the Conservation and Recreation Lands of Florida Act that I mentioned before, the Environmental Lands Act, the Environmental Education Act. In 2002, uh, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission um, did something that I really loved. You know, you hear a lot about, uh, what's that cliche, about great men and the great women who stand behind them. Well, Johnny Jones was a great man, and he had a great woman who stood beside him and in all things, in raising this beautiful family and in their important conservation work. And the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission recognized that in 2002 by naming the former Palmar property after Johnny and Mariana. It is now the 12 and a half thousand acres John C. and Mariana Jones Hungry Land Wildlife and Environmental Area. And it's in northern Palm Beach and southern Martin counties. Johnny Jones uh, spent his life in the most worthy endeavors. He waged difficult battles. He was not cowed. He was not uh, bowed. And he was not swayed to defend a land that needed to be defended and that needed to be left alone. He saved Florida's wild places for others and other generations to discover for the first time. We owe, as I said, a tremendous debt of gratitude to Johnny Jones and, um, and a debt of responsibility to be stewards of his legacy. We offer our thanks, we offer our tribute, and we have a very small physical token of our thanks as well that we'd like to present to you, and Mariana, and your family. And so um, I'd like to invite the family to come down and meet the board uh, down here so that we can present that small token to you. Um, just come on up and we'll meet you down there. And as we're coming up, I want to recognize uh, Johnny's children, of course, who are going to, we're going to situate in the front. We've got Diane Gaines and Julie Pate and John Jr. Where's Oh, there he is, right behind me. All right, great. Let me get this. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, you, well, that would be wonderful, Charles. Okay, I don't know if everybody can see this, but where are you? There you are, Mariana. We, we have framed this wonderful photograph. Our staff has, has done a wonderful job. This is a photograph of the channelized Kissimmee River, a place very, very special to your dad, your grandpa. Um, and this is a photograph of the restored floodplain, which of course we have today and which is a legacy of your family. And it says, in memory of Johnny Jones, whose tireless efforts gave Florida back our river, the South Florida Water Management District. So we want to present this to you. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you all for coming.